What do you think is the most proud black moment we've had all 2018? Damn. <laughs> See, you're going to have to hit me with the OD question. Girl, so I'm a rapper, and I think it's dope to see all of these dope black girl rappers out here emerging, doing their own stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to cuss, but I ain't going to do that on camera. <laughs> I've got to say, seeing Oprah knocking on doors for Stacey Abrams was pretty great. Yes. You know, I loved that sort of sisterly camaraderie, down-to-earth, let's-get-this-done thing. That was pretty special. Proudest black moment. I don't know, maybe maybe uh, Michelle Obama's book's coming out. she got a great book coming out. I mean, the first thing that comes to mind is the release of this book that Michelle Obama just put out. It's like one of the big, what's well, definitely the biggest selling book of the year Black Panther. so far. Black Panther, gosh, how did I forget that? I know, I just thought of it while you were saying that. Yeah. Huge. I mean, huge, huge year for Black Panther, Ava DuVernay, black With filmmakers. Warner Brothers all of, deal that she just got. All Packers, big films like there's some really really good things happening people got to take us seriously in that genre yeah I think it just shows the power that there is in entertainment and and beyond for people of color so it's great Black Panther was this year yeah it came out this year yes it did are you sure I'm positive that's crazy <laughs> shit Black Panther <laughs> okay. Lauren here with Karen Civil. can you tell us Karen what do you think is the most proud moment that we've had as a black community this year 2018 um, I can't pinpoint it down to one exact moment but honestly um, ooh, Michelle Obama's book um, we had a great year in music it's just so many different things, but I'm just, I'm very thankful for Michelle Obama's book right now. Just in the world of chaos and everything that's coming out, just her book. Yeah. Goodness, just this year, look, I think the historic number of black candidates that stepped up and put their own names on the ballot and won amazing races. I know uh, Tallahassee Mayor Andrew Gillum is here tonight. He's a personal friend of mine, and I'm proud of him. I'm proud of Stacey Abrams. I'm proud of Ben Jealous, and I'm proud that this incoming House Representatives class will have over 100 women, and a number of those are black women. So that's my proudest moment for us. We haven't broken the barrier, but we need to keep going. You know, the, new, the, the latest election, I think it was a very proud moment for us. Us. You know, I think uh, a lot of times historically the midterm election has been looked over um, and I think we came out in numbers. I think we rallied, we campaigned, we got the vote out, we signed up a lot of new voters and to see a lot of the red seats turn blue as they did this year from not just um, African Americans but from women and minorities, I think that was a very proud moment in 2018. The most proud black moment in 2018 for me was a recent one when I had the opportunity to hear Michelle Obama speak. She's just such a regal woman and she is such a real woman. It's hard to be regal and real at once. And I love her. And I um, was honored just to hear her tell her story and she kept it really funky. She didn't lie, she just told the truth about what it was and how hard it is uh, for her to be her and who she was and growing up. And I just relate to that so much. She's so empowering. So for me, that was a real true black woman like embracing everything about what it means to be a black woman, the good and the bad, or the good and not so loved about us. Well, 2018 has seen a lot of pretty remarkable moments. Um, because I'm in the field of politics, I can't help but to acknowledge uh, Maxine Waters for her um, extreme bravery and courage in standing up to Donald Trump. Um, she's been unapologetic about who we are as a community. Um, not being um, silent about the things that are harmful to our society. Um, I also got to say that entertainers, by and large, have also really stood up in some remarkable ways, in spite of their, um, you know, their professions, and saying that their voices matter and calling out injustice in all of its forms. That's been important to see. The uh, thing that I'm most proud of of Black America is the way they've accepted my show Pose, uh, that showcases the incredible beautiful transgender talent uh, that we have in our show um, and the way that black America has really showed up and showed out. Um, watching the show on social media, Ebony for supporting us, um, I'm super proud of that.